Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Remember I said in the last part we've got to do a Lekman stage again? We might as well. <laughs> but this time, I'm gonna use a few cuts. I, I think that's the best way to go about doing things. So yeah, as I said before, um, it, oops, it probably would have been easier to use the rolling... Oh, by the way, yeah, um, no, 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 no. I wanna just show something here. Yeah, some enemies not be affected by normal charges made other methods to attack, find those weaknesses. Uh, okay. So yeah, this would have probably been the easier way to do things, but just imagine if you played the stage without getting the rolling cutter first. <clears throat> <clears throat> Good luck with that. Like like I showed you how to do those jumps properly, but it's incredibly tight to the point that it the chances of you pulling it off are extremely low. Anyway, cutting ahead. <coughs> that totally wasn't copy pasta too. <laughs> Ooh, I got really lucky there. Oh, really? No. Don't be tempted. Ever. Ever. Ooh, health. Alright. We've made it. Now with Lekaman's own power, the Thunder Beam! <laughs> but you're not gonna be able to keep this, even if you die. You gotta actually finish the level. Oops, this is the Magnet Beam, and as I said, it's it's used to complete the game. It's it's necessary because it creates these platforms that you walk on. I'm not, I'm not sure if you could see that flashy effect that these Magnet Beams are doing, but... You probably can see at least some of them, because it's like every other frame, and whoops, I went the, the wrong way. So yeah, I gotta go up... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second! I collected the magnet beam again! <laughs> Hold on, can I actually do this in a limited amount of times? Unbelievable, you can! <laughs> I never noticed that before, because I never... I never really went back. Ooh! I escaped unscathed again. Alright, I got Cutman's power out right off the start. Let's do this. Yeah! Oh, jeez, so much damage. Why? Ah! <laughs> yeah, it only takes three hits to destroy a Lekaman with the rolling cutter, but a lot of hits if you do it with your buster, and I wouldn't count on you being able to do it with your buster unless you do a lot of memorization and have a lot of luck on your side. Alright, so now we got the magnet beam, and the luck man's power is super effective against Iceman. We can now play Iceman stage. See, the magnet beam... I, I saved the magnet beam until I got to this part for a reason. <laughs> because it's, it's, I would say it's prac- oh, I hate you. <laughs> I'd say it's practically necessary for this particular, ah, particular stage because of a certain- I need to get their heads, by the way, that's what I'm aiming for. There, like that, that's what I was going for. Because, anyway, there's the, there are these flying enemies that, they don't, they're, they're totally RNG-based. It's bogus. And, ah, uh, I tried to dodge the penguin, but I got foot swiped. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend doing the stage without the magnet beam. And you'll see why when we get there. Got it? Good. Oh, I'm getting some health back. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's at least one thing I gotta give Mega Man, is that you can kind of grind for health just by uh, killing the same spawning, spawning enemies over and over in, in an area. Yeah, like that, until they drop something. And yeah, so it's, it's kind of nice, I guess. It's uh, it's slow, but it's nice. <laughs> Are there gonna be any sort of health drops now? I don't. It, it's I mean, it, it's too slow for me. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'll I'm, I'll get a checkpoint soon enough anyway. Okay, now as long as you're up, oh, I was I was gonna say as long as you're careful, you won't take a hit here getting that. But now Mega Man Ice physics are really weird. It's like. I'm, I'm holding left, but now watch what happens if I jump. See that? You automatically lose that forward momentum on the ice. And, yeah, so you're, you're most... Like, on icy surfaces like this, you're best off in the air rather than on the ground uh, in terms of control. Oh, shoot. Uh, oops. Rolling cutter. Here we go. There we go. Because I know this is... Actually, I should just keep this out. Yeah, it's this again. 
Uh, oh wait, that's right, you gotta jump from the low one to the middle one. Oh man, such fun level design. Then you go over to here, and you wait a bit to go to here, right? And then up here, and then up here, yeah. And that, it's just so... Like, how do you even take joy in that? <laughs> uh, okay, so how does this one go? I think, you, I think you start over on this one here, if I recall correctly. You go up to there, up to there, all the way to there, up here, up- Oh, I messed it up! Yeah, you gotta go to the upper block, and I was one block over than I should have been. Ah! Ah! Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this without any ire. Ah. Yes! Yes! I didn't lie! I didn't lie! Okay, this is the part that if you don't have the um, magnet beam is practically impossible. <laughs> well, okay, maybe it's not that impossible, but... See these flying platform guys? Well, not only if they shoot their... Um, like, if you're, if you're standing on top of them while they're shooting and they move down, you'll actually take a hit from their shots, and then you'll fall off the edge into your doom. Because those shots go through their bodies, and they don't... Like, they, don't, they start in the middle of their bodies. They don't start where those little cannons are on the sides of their bodies. They start in the middle. So there's just enough room and, of course, a lack of polish for them to be able to hit you. However... If you, ma if you magnet beam through this, have fun, guys! <laughs> and drop here to recover your health. I mean, uh, excuse me, your weapon energy. And, yeah, and just, just hoping that those guys will do what you want them to do. Very unlikely, because there's so many of them, and they they roam around in such random patterns, it's just absolute nutters. So, anyway, let's go down here. Oh, I actually managed to pull it off. Now, this is that sort of jump that I said you wouldn't be able to do getting out of there very easily in the Electman stage. Let's see if I can get some vertical air here. Nope! <laughs> and then you would fall to your death. Uh, oh, I should have been pushing to the left there. Eh, well... Oh, well, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, please don't be anymore. Okay. Whew. Iceman. Iceman. Can I recover some stuff for Iceman? Maybe. Because Iceman, he does a lot of damage, like Electman. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, get out your... your sp well, actually, I have three lives. I'll show you... I'll just die no matter what, probably on my first run, trying to get the hang of this again. But basically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to shoot at them from distance, but these ice things do so much damage, and it's so difficult to jump between them, it's crazy. <laughs> and that was just one hit! Keep that in mind there. I just want to kind of kill my way through here with a nice steady stream of bullets. There we go, and I reach the gates, then I'll switch over to the Thunder Beam. There we go. Now, to do this properly, you gotta wait until him, for him to float down a little bit, and then start spamming your attack. So here we go. Like that, and like that, like that, and jump! Oh, I still took damage! <laughs> I told you, his attack, very, very difficult to dodge. <sighs> All right, it's probably time for one more stage. <laughs> and fire is weak against ice in this game. Not 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 like Pokemon, you know. Yeah, it would it, it, be kind of the other way. So Fire Man is up next, and we've got more pain coming. Are you excited? Oh man, I'm just peeing my panties right now. <laughs> Okay, so you can sort of kind of see here in the pattern of the turret before you get up to their position. But, ooh! But, you still gotta put yourself in harm's way. So be very careful of that. Like, just make sure that you are not putting yourself in, oh, too dangerous of a spot. And you should be okay, as it's all about picking out the patterns as to where they are ending up. You know, like where those bullets are. Oh, shoot. That's right, fire guys spawn up. Oh yeah, they also come out here. Uh, you can freeze those with Iceman's power, but nah, I want to save it for the boss. <laughs> oh, you guys are... You guys are... Yes, are... I want this. Ah! Uh. 
And there isn't very much time between when they pop up and go down, by the way. So, even recovering your health here might be a little... Blah, might be a little bit dicey. Yeah, yeah, I tried. I tried. But alas, it just wasn't meant to be. Alright, continuing on. <laughs> okay. Ah, dear your hitboxes! <laughs> now we got these. Oh yeah, those little edges hurt you. I forgot about that. So that's that's another nice little bit of level design there, yes. <laughs> At least these health giblets here are easy to get. And what can I Mm, nah, I don't, no need to do anything up there. And going down. <clears throat> um, careful, careful. Oh god, <laughs> I said careful. Oh, don't knock me into the lava. That's one hit kill. <laughs> and I just got a sort of kind of, oh jeez. Oh, ho, ho. and that was a lot tighter than it may have looked. Believe me when I say that. The, the hitboxes of things just aren't quite as, uh, quite as accurate as you think they are. <laughs> another bit of lack of polish, let's put it that way. Okay, now this is another thing that's just practically impossible to get by. I, I, I don't know if you can freeze this or not, I don't think you can, but I'll, I'll try it just for kicks. He's an ice slasher. No, it doesn't work, just as I thought. So here we go. Do, I, do your best to time this. Eh, nope. <laughs> This other one isn't as bad as the first one, but you're still probably going to take damage from it. Yeah, fantastic design. <laughs> now we got bombs, which have the same patterns as the uh, penguins, but they explode if you're and you'll take damage from them if you're too close to them. Whoa! No, 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 no. My reaction time is too good for that. But this one, however, uh, if you don't have the cutter, you're gonna you're gonna kind of have issues. Oh wait, hold on a sec. That's. Oh wow, I should have just cuttered it. <laughs> like definitely, absolutely should have cuttered it. <laughs> okay, now we made it, ish. <laughs> and and uh, my strategy for this boss is, uh, it's sensational. L let me tell you here. <laughs> you'll, you'll be excited to see it when I do it, believe me. And, oh, no, no, I, I can't, no, no, I don't have much health left, and I, I... You know what, actually, just, just kill me. <laughs> I'll recover my health, because I, I don't have... I mean, I'm at my last life anyway, so, yeah. Yes, oh, jeez. Did you just put me right in the line of fire there, Mr. Ready Screen? Now, why, why would you do that to me? Why would you... Just, no, that, that's, that's not good at all. <laughs> Uh, uh, so these enemies are tricky, but they're definitely doable. Like when they're on the ceiling, and it's tight in, the, tight in this area like this. Yeah. Oh, I got some extra health there. Okay. Ready? Ready? Because his attack pattern is so randomized, it's sort of like those pogo enemies. Prepare to mash buttons like you've never mashed buttons before! Attack him whenever you have the opportunity to attack him! And that's my strategy. <laughs> it's so stupid, but that's the only way I found to beat him with taking the least amount of damage. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do Bomb Man stage, because he's weak against fire! Toodaloo!